So you must be tired of shooting 23% from three. You tired of selling your teammates from the corner. You tired of changing your jump shot every game. Well, you click the right video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing y'all some jump shooting tips and tricks. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, roll to 1K. We at 964 subscribers right now. I'm going to be at 965 by the end of this, you feel me? Let's get straight into it. Go! Before we get into it, I want y'all to see I'm shooting dang that 60% from three, 64, almost 65% from the field. Just in case you didn't know, you feel me? Step number one is obvious. You want to find a good jump shot. Now, you can look up a YouTube video. There's plenty of YouTube videos out there that's showing you the best jump shots in the game. I would recommend you put on JT Thor Bass if you can get it. JT Thor Bass. If, it's, if a lot of YouTubers are showing the same jump shot, that means it's a good jump shot. Now, I used to be one of the type of people that didn't like, you know what I'm saying, using the metal jump shots. I didn't like doing what was metal. I used to always do what was not metal and things of that nature. But I would suggest, well, what I did this year and what I suggest y'all do is just use a metal jump shot to get used to the shooting. And once you get used to the shooting, then you venture out and find you your own, you know, set of things that you like to do or set of jump shots that you want to use or whatever. That's what I would suggest. But yeah, step number one is find a good jump shot. You feel me? Find a comfortable shot time and visual cue is the second step in this video. I use release. Release, personally, for me, is the best one to read with the jump shots. You basically releasing right when your player flick his wrist. Like right when he's starting to like flick his wrist, like letting go of the shot, that's when you let go of square or X. But if you catch yourself shooting slightly early, uh, put it on push. If you catch yourself shooting slight uh, early, put it on jump or um, set point. Uh, shooting very early, put it on jump, you know what I'm saying? So just adjust accordingly to what you find, like your own tendencies. Step three is to make sure that you got your badges and your boots. Don't go to the park complaining that you can't shoot or none of that until you got your badges. Go to my career, grind the badges, and that's also another way to learn the game. Play my career. Don't play it on the easy difficulty. I would say play it on like pro or something. Pro or all-star to learn the game. And like I said, also get your boost. You want to make sure you have jump shooting boosts. Now, the other boosts ain't really that necessary unless you like trying to do that. But jump shooting boost is mandatory. It's been known as a thing that you need to have on your player since like boost was a thing. Like everybody knows that you have to have jump shoot boost on your player and you had to get your badges. Step four, make sure you got your hot zones and your hot spots. Now, you want to come to City East and you want to walk around the corner to the auto shooting gym and you will see your hot zones. Now, there's a thing called lethal zones this year. I'm going to pull up a chart from 2K Labs. Now, I really don't know, like, understand this all the way completely, but I know that if you got your hot zones and your lethal zones based off of that chart, you should be greening for real. Like, I ain't going to lie. And, um, yeah, you can always come into the auto shooting gym to check your hot spots as well, so... Step five is repetition. That really just applies to anything that you want to just get better at or anything that you want. Any habit that you want to build, you have to be consistent with it. You have to constantly work on it. Just repetition is going to get you better at shooting. And also, you might not want to off the rip learn how to shoot off the dribble. You might want to learn first by doing just only catch and shoots. Learn how to shoot good off the catch. And then once you get used to that timing, start implementing in shooting off the dribble. And then once you learn how to shoot off the dribble, start learning how to shoot fades. And over time, you will just gradually get better at just be, uh, being a well-rounded shooter. Now, we, I can't forget about the factors that are really out of everybody's control. Like, every game mode on 2K being a different latency and timing. And also, like, a lot of factors like how fast the internet is, if you plan on a monitor or a TV, if you um, connect it straight to the uh, internet or are you on Wi-Fi, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of stuff that is out of um, your con most people control that, you know, you really can't have a say so in. But a lot of the topics, a lot of the points that I covered in this video should still carry over 
to all of those like you know um, out of control out of our control elements of this game like I said and uh yeah make sure you hit that like button hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed the video um yeah if you enjoyed the video make sure you hit the like button um and comment down below uh anything any other tips that y'all might have and uh yeah I'll see y'all in the next one